Okay, I know I'm not the only person out here who has too many Munchkin card sets. Not that it's really possible to have too many Munchkin card sets, but it is difficult to carry this giant stack of boxes from place to place, or try to fit all of the cards into one box because the size isn't quite deep enough to fit them sideways, and they won't quite fit side by side in, in, in the inside of the box either. It's, so it's kind of a pain to try to fit all of this stuff into one container that you can take from place to place. I'm sure you've all seen the Munchkin meat lockers that they have, and I just purchased some, and this is my first time seeing them, I just got them in the mail. Uh, I read on the reviews that they're difficult to put together, but I actually didn't have a problem. Here's one, and I'm going to go ahead and put this other one together. Uh, it was really quick and easy, so maybe somebody got a bad batch. That's all I can figure, because it's like putting together a pizza box. And I've never worked as a, at a pizza place, but um, I have put together similar boxes before, and it's not too difficult. Let's see, fold that in. The little holes go into the little. Fold this side in. Right, this one didn't go quite as easily as the last one, but still. Alright. It's probably just the stage pressure from being on camera. So, there you go. It's put together, I can fit 500 doors into this box. And I'm sure, over time, I'll be able to figure out how to keep it completely together. But it's, it's effective. It's an effective tool for holding cards. So I was pretty excited about getting these. Because um, initially, what I was holding all my cards in up until uh, about a couple of months ago, was this box that my sister had made for me. From, uh, she got this box at Hobby Lobby and uh, kind of retrofitted it or whatever you would call it. Where you, she put little dividers in for all my cards. Now mostly this just holds regular cards, Uno, Phase 10. These important old school games. It still has the rules, still has the dice. Um, but a few months ago I found online this baby. It says, it's a nice little plastic container, and it says it holds 1,100 cards, but it actually holds well over um, 1,500. I'm not exactly positive how many are in here, but there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven base sets in here, along with some extra items, and uh, it's been really effective, and I like it a lot. It's easy to take around to parties. Uh, this was a little more difficult, it's heavier, it's got sharp corners, although it's awesome and my sister is great for making it for me, it was a great Christmas present. I will continue using it. Um, but this obviously doesn't hold my die and any of the other extra items. So when I saw online that the Munchkin Messenger bag was available, I was very excited until I saw how expensive it was. Uh, I think it was $75. It's a little cost prohibitive. Um, so I chose not to buy it. But earlier this month, it's January 2015, I saw that it was on sale for $25. So I bought it. And it came in today. It's not as big as it looks on uh, the Munchkin videos that they showed. And that's why I'm shooting this video now. It's... Uh, I haven't actually opened it yet. I haven't used it yet, so you guys will be able to go through that with me. It came with the, this little packet attached. It's got some cards in it. I'm sure we all know that we get swag with the uh, munchkin items that we buy. But I thought I would uh, let you all see exactly the size and whether or not um, it will actually hold all of your munchkin stuff. Uh, comes with a nice little strap there. Now I'm mainly concerned with whether or not this will fit inside of here, especially now seeing how small this is. This is quite a bit smaller than I thought it would be. It did come with this fun die, which I'm pretty excited about. 
All right, so this here, which is a little bit taller than how how wide these cards are, so you can see when they're standing up on their side, which is the, the best way to store the Munchkin cards. So, success, it fits. I'm pretty excited about that, and we'll see now if you recall from the other videos, if you've watched the other videos, should be able to fit two Munchkin meat lockers into here as well. And they, they fit just fine. And what I'll probably end up doing is keeping my die inside the meat lockers until I accidentally go overboard on the internet and buy more Munchkin sets, which... Um, I hope I don't do, <laughs> but part of me still hopes that I do. Uh, in any case, this is the Munchkin Messenger bag. It's, uh, maybe not worth $75, but the $26 I spent on it was well spent. It's, um, not amazing quality, but it looks durable enough for, uh, taking it to and from your, uh, games and, uh, holding all of your stuff. I'm really excited about using it. It's the Munchkin Messenger bag.